，滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴滴。Hey everybody! So it's the next day. It's Friday, May the fifteenth, and that's why my hair looks like this. I'm cooking breakfast, and we're going to be leaving today. We don't know where we're going. <laughs> we were going to try to see if we could go to Key West, but they've closed off the road, so you can't even go to the Keys. They have it all blocked off. Like you can't go there unless you're a resident of those islands. So we can't go. So we left the KOA and we're on our way to Orlando to hang out with Rob and Allison one last time, and then we'll be on the road. I would say sorry for the background noise, but it's all part of the experience. Good morning. It's almost seven o'clock in the morning. I am very tired. Uh, my watch says I went to bed at like 2 10 a.m. And I don't know what I was doing. I think I came back to the RV like 1 in the morning. I need to get up and take the dogs for a walk right now. There'll be time to nap later. What's going on with my hair, man? Hey. So we took the dogs out and we're ready to leave, but we're having a problem with the jacks and our steps. Tony released the jacks, but unfortunately we left our steps out when we did that and now the steps are stuck on the curb. As you can see, the steps are not supposed to look like that. <laughs> They've landed right on the curb. Find out. I believe your shirt is inside out. It's all good. We're on the move. Who cares if our shirt's inside out? We're on the move. Who cares? Life on the road. Yes, life on the road. Who cares if our shirts are inside out and our hair is a mess? It's time for adventures. Absolutely. And some coffee. I like how I fixed my hair, but then I took a nap. I don't have any idea where we are. <laughs> Let me check Google Maps. Where am I? I guess I'm in Chiefland. We parked at Winn-Dixie and we're gonna go get some food for lunch. I wanna see if I can get something for Carmen to help her relax. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so see how everybody's parked like this? Look at us. We have to park this way. When we just had the RV and not the van towed in the back, we could like just park, like take up two parking spots and just like would do one of these. But with the van attached, we have to take up even more spaces. We have to park way in the back now. Do a lot of walking. While we were in Winn Dixie, I got something for Carmen. I we saw this. I hope it works. It says on the package that it has THC in it. I hope it works, but the only problem is Carmen doesn't like it. Okay. Eat it. No, Bina, no. Eat the Carm, eat it. No, she doesn't like it. It was like $45 at Winn-Dixie. I'm gonna try to mix it into some chicken. See if she'll eat it. Yes. Excellent. Good girl. Looks 
feels like I may have waited too long. I need to make sure I make calls before they all close. It's six o'clock right now and I, I should have called earlier. I made a new mistake. These RV parks, they close their office at like five o'clock in the evening. So I'm getting a voicemail right now. We are here. And this is going to be home for the night. Good morning, everybody. I woke up at like 6.23 and I'm sleepy, but I'm excited to get on the road. I have things kind of cleaned up in here. This maze laptop is gonna go on the table again, but everything out, well, see, look. I don't know what I'm talking about. This has to go on the floor, otherwise it'll spill. Yeah, we're still in a Walmart parking lot. And I have opened all the blinds and the curtains. We ran the AC all night long. It's still like, we're in North Florida, but it's still like really hot here at night. By really hot, I mean like 23 degrees Celsius. Like just enough where you want your AC. It's gonna cost us quite a bit in gas money. I kinda just wanna, like the reason we're not leaving Florida right now is because I work for the school board and as long as I'm in the state of Florida, I can still get a paycheck. The reason we're not leaving Florida is because I have my paperwork done. Her job or no job, if I had my paperwork done and we could go to Canada, we wouldn't care about the job one bit. We'd be done, we'd be gone. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. But also, I want to see the sites. Of Florida? It's true. No, other sites. Well? Like, if it wasn't for my job, I'd just be like, fuck it, let's go. But there's yeah. sites in Florida to see, though. There's, there's sites in Florida to see. It was all yesterday, that was a pretty beach. Yeah, but we, we didn't go to, go to it. <laughs> we didn't go to it. Well, well let's go to a beach. Let's have some hashtag content. So, Tony just made us some delicious breakfast. Egg pockets and bacon. And now we have to try to find a way to book a place to stay for the night. Tony just called and made a reservation for this RV park. He was like, oh, you guys are closing in like 20 minutes. <laughs> I said, oh, I looked at the clock. It's almost noon. And I said, oh, boy, uh, you guys close at noon. She said, well, if you're in Port St. Joe, and we're in Mexico Beach. It's 11.30 there, but it's only 10.30 here because we're in Central Time Zone. And I was like, <laughs> so if I left now, I, if I left now and you're a half hour away, I'd be there half an hour ago? And <laughs> she's like, yep, that's right. So yeah, if I leave now, I could be there at 11. And it's 11.30 now. So we've arrived to Rustic Sands Resort Campground. The hurricane came through here and kind of savaged it. I sh it savaged. <laughs> I already took a shower, that's why my hair is different. Tony and I are gonna go to town and pick up a few things from town. And I wanted to show you guys all the cool stuff in town. There's too much bug splatter on this, this window, otherwise I would have showed you earlier, but let's go. It seems like some areas in Mexico City were really savaged by the hurricane. It's really sad. I've never experienced something like this. I guess I just figured they would have rebuilt everything by now, but I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. exactly the edge of the world but it's it's country it's like tiny town after tiny town yeah we can bring the dogs and it's gonna be Dina's first time at a beach. We'll see how she reacts. Let me close my door. 